Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. A few weeks ago, I saw a demonstration by Clive Christiansen, who has turns hundreds of togwa nuts. What's a togwa nut? It's this ugly little brown thing. It actually has been used as vegetable ivory, has a very nice ivory color. So I decided I had to turn one too. So here is my togwa vase. It's huge, right? Well, no. Uh, it's only this size, but it has this nice, rich, antique ivory color and quite nice. It's actually quite a challenge to turn very small instead of big. So let's turn this togwa nut into a vase. Before actually starting to turn, I took one of my threaded wood faceplates and bored a one and three quarters inch hole about a quarter inch deep. Then I turned a spindle with a tenon sized for the faceplate and glued them together. After the glue dried, I reduced the end of the spindle to be more of the size of the togwa nut. I sanded a small flat on the nut opposite the attachment end. Then I sprayed the faceplate pedestal with CA accelerator, applied medium CA to the flat on the nut, and pushed them together. I let the glue harden a good long time. Now I can rough turn the nut with a small spindle gouge. I have a rubber stopper on my live center for gentle support. I took gentle cuts, but there's not a lot to hog off. I then switched to a skew for use as a scraper. As I work, I'm expecting a white color. Instead, I'm getting a mellow color near to antique ivory. I plan to leave just a little of the brown covering on a side to show that this is not just plastic. For the interior, I'm using my hollowing tools made from Allen wrenches. Even these could be smaller for this project. Hollowing is difficult because normally I can measure wall thickness with my fingers. But with this small face, I cannot fit a finger inside to feel it. Finally, I remembered the demonstrator using a side light to measure wall thickness. Maybe not to measure it, but to see how even the wall thickness was by whether it was consistently allowing light to pass through it. Sorry for the end camera, the little togwa nut hid behind the live sender behind or behind me when hollowing. This time we'll stick to the overhead camera. This is a very different experience from hollowing a larger vessel. It's tiny. I'm used to large movements. This vase requires small careful movements. I sanded with 220 grit and 400 grit sandpaper. The vase shined up very nicely. Finally, I parted it off mostly through the wood pedestal just a little cleanup on the actual nut base. I did not dare reverse mount this little vase, so I put a small burr on the Dremel tool and ground out the foot just a little bit. It looks purposeful and not simply sanded flat. Finally, I buffed the little vase with Tripoli, White Diamond, and Carnauba Wax. I could not figure out how to sign a vase this small. This little vase is kind of cute. 
it was worth doing if only to test myself on the other end of the size scale. It has a nice antique color, it's a keeper, and I'll have to turn more of these tiny projects. It will be a great Valentine's gift for my wife. That's all for this tiny vase. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Please wear your full face shield, even on a toggle nut. You'll thank me later, or cuss yourself sometime for not wearing it. I'm Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Come back next week for a new wood turning video.